Hey, what's up turtles? It's Crick here with Black Owl Outdoors. Today I wanted to do a video talking about the characteristics, background, and general use of 550 paracord, also known as parachute cord. Down here on the blanket I have three examples uh, spread out. So on my left and your right I have a piece of, this is probably about 40, 40 feet um, of paracord. This is in a fast rope design. This is a method I really like to carry uh, paracord in general. I'm gonna do a video on how this works and why I like doing this, but this is considered a fast rope. It has this cool design on this. Next to it just has some high-vis uh, yellow, I guess, neon yellow, whatever you wanna call it, in a fast rope design as well. And actually on this, I wanna show the characteristics of paracord. I'm gonna use this because it's a brighter color. This was originally used as parachute cord. That's where uh, the short um, prefix para comes from. People call paracord as parachute cord used to spend soldiers in World War II, those that were jumping out of planes. And it had a lot of uses. The soldiers were using it. And it has then such uh, has since then been used in military and other civilian applications because of the characteristics I'm going to mention. But some of the specs of this cord, there's a lot of variation. There's different variation in it. It's generally about four mil millimeters in diameter. This is a nylon sort of casing, if you will, which I have just the casing right here, which I will show in a second. This is just the casing. Inside this is anywhere from five, seven, eight, nine strands. The true mil spec, I believe, is eight or nine inner strands and potentially three ply. This will make sense. I'm gonna cut this open and show you what the insides look like and why this is so strong. Okay, you can see I cut the end off and what's inside this casing is actually all these smaller strands and this is two ply, meaning each one right here pinched between my uh, thumb and forefinger. This is just two more pieces of nylon twisted together, but this one has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So this is seven, this is pretty good. I definitely bought one that had five in here, which obviously is not gonna be as strong as seven, eight or nine. But potentially you can even then untwist this and even get more, get an even smaller single strand, which has a lot of uses. But this is the inside of it and it stretches. This paracord stretches because it was used as parachute cord. It had to have give. If it didn't have give, it just, you know, probably the physics wouldn't work. But this is what the insides look like. And this piece right here I have next to it, I actually used the inner strands. You can see the inside of this, there's, there's no inner strands of this because I gutted this to use the inner strands for a little project I was using. But nonetheless, just this casing, I want to say there's upwards of 30 at least pieces of nylon, how this is braided or woven together and it still is still a functional piece of cord. And I, right now I'm using these two smaller pieces. Like I said, I'm a conservationist at heart. Just put a bend in here just to use these two small pieces that I had. Um, they're already small in self and I used the innards for, like I said, for a different project. I put a bend in here and now I'm just using this to wrap up my my, uh, my outdoor kit that I've done a video on, the one I made out of Dentalman felt. So it still has the use as the outside even if um, you take out the inner, the inner nylon or woven strands. But that's basically it. And why I choose to ca uh, carry this a lot is because of its strength, 550 cord. This be able to hold 550 pounds, which is ridiculous for something at four millimeters in diameter. But just the characteristics, like I said, that this, the casing woven with so much and the inner strands really gives it strength. And it does, it's, it has a possess a pretty elastic state, meaning it's gonna, it's gonna stretch when a lot of weight's applied. And I'm gonna show you the strength and some, some of the elasticity if you are looking for a one, you know, sort of type of cordage to carry, paracord would be a great thing to have. Is it the best for every application? No. One, because like I said, it stretches. Sometimes that'll be all right. Other times you don't want it to stretch. Um, it holds a lot of weight. Sometimes when I'm doing bends, not so much bends, but hitches or certain knots, the paracord doesn't want to hold that well because there's not a lot of friction because it is a smooth nylon because of the tight weave of the outer casing. So you have to keep that in mind depending on what you're doing. You, I can always make paracord work, but there are 
other options such as bank line or other type of braided cordage that will work better but if you're going to carry one thing paracord is definitely definitely a good option to, ha to have and to carry and this is the toolkit I was carrying about and I have this fast fast rope paracord like I said 40 feet but now I want to go um, behind the camera show you I have a little something set up to show the actual strength of this to prove that it is strong and it can hold a lot of weight So what I have here is another piece of 550 cord. Uh, this is like in this dark OD green. This is one I've designated as sort of my ridge line because I have two prusik hitches just staying on this potentially for my tarp. But I'm going to show the example of how strong this is. So what I've done is just put a couple toggles or handles in here using the Marlin spike hitch. I'm going to put all my weight on this. Um, I'm going to incur... <laughs> I'm going to say I'm not a climbing expert. I'm not saying anyone should be suspending themselves from paracord if they don't know what they're doing with um, some experience. Because yes, this will hold my weight, but I'm cautious that potentially there's going to be some abrading going on with the tree, uh, the branches is on just because of friction and rubbing on it, moving back and forth. But this is just for demonstrative purposes to show that this will hold my weight. So it will hold me, like I said, I'm about buck 65 soaking wet, maybe 170 soaking wet. Man, that wood's cold. But this was just to demonstrate, like I said, that how strong this cord is. And my, all my weight wasn't on just one. As you see, I was holding on the two around a branch. But nonetheless, it's very strong. And I'll show you just for purposes of the stretch. Right here, it's just hanging right at my, I'm standing flat on the ground. I put my weight on it. Okay, I'll stay up here and I, you can see as I flex down, you can see the stretch in the cord. Here's no weight on it, just hanging. I pull down on it. You can see the stretch. That's basically the characteristic, the ins and outs of paracord. Again, I, I told you why I like to carry it for its strength, its inner strands. It's just, you know, multi-use and it's just strong. Um, if there's any other types of cordage you like to carry, let me know. Leave a comment why. Like I said, I'll probably do a video on bank line. I got a big, a big roll coming. I'm gonna start using that. Probably do some videos on it. Remember to check out Black Outdoors on Instagram. Check us out on Facebook. Check out blackoutdoors.com. This is Crick signing out with Black Outdoors. Later, turtles.